You must realize, as I mentioned before, about the neuroendocrine immune axis. So when we look at the endocrine part of that neuroendocrine immune axis, we're looking at hormone panels. Patients have come into my office and they've brought in hormone tests that have been run. And commonly, there are testosterone and estrogen tests that are run with patients. We've got to go further than just looking at the testosterone and the estrogen. We've got to look at the gland in the brain that produces these hormones in the first place. There's a pituitary gland in your brain that sends signals down to your thyroid, to your, in a male to your reproductive system, and in a female to your reproductive system. And the pituitary gland is the master conductor for all the whole endocrine system. If the pituitary is the primary problem, not allowing the thyroid to work normally, or not allowing the, the, the reproductive system in a male or a female to work normally, then everything's out of order. No matter how much of an estrogen replacement therapy or how much of a testosterone hormone you may be taking, you're not gonna get to the root of the cause if you don't look at the other hormones. We look in the brain at the hormones by the pituitary gland. We're looking at two in particular. It's called the follicle stimulating hormone. We look at the luteinizing hormone. The FSH and the LH then tell us if those are normal, high, or low, and then we correlate those with testosterone or estrogen levels, normal, high, or low. You've got to put the whole circuit together to finally figure out why there's an imbalance of your hormone system in the first place, which can be caused by, again, if your immune system is flared up, it doesn't matter how many hormones you're taking, you're never going to get it okay because that immune system is constantly stressing your endocrine system. So important to figure that out. So we do, we look for certain progesterone levels, certain estrogen levels. There are three estrogens that we look for, estrone, estradiol, and estradiol. We're gonna be able to figure out your pattern and be able to follow that pattern over time and help regulate your system. I've had people who have been able to actually have normal, healthy, functioning, intimate relationships with their spouse again. All because we stop the immune system attacking the whole body because we finally figure out what's causing that problem in the first place. Hormone panels are really important to understand because symptoms can be related to depression, fatigue, mental fogginess, mood swings, hot flashes, sweating attacks, weight gain, decreased physical stamina. Now, what we're going to talk about here, we've really already discussed, and I'm going to recap. We've looked at your metabolic system. We go over, we look at a functional blood chemistry analysis where I look at about 30 different markers on your blood not just the white and red blood cells, the CBC with differential, or the lipid panel, or TSH, like I commonly see patients come in with. Very short, inaccurate, incomplete blood tests. We do a very comprehensive blood test. We want to be able to figure out what systems are not working in concert with one another. A very comprehensive thyroid panel. Then we look at your immune system with different blood tests. Again, we look at the cytokines. We've got to find out if you're a TH1 or TH2 dominant immune system. We're going to look at a lymphocyte subpopulation analysis, and we're going to look at a natural killer cell activity. We've got to understand what condition your immune system is in, because that can cause everything to go off, off normal function. And if it's never checked on you, you're missing out on being able to figure out the, maybe the missing piece that you've never discovered. We're going to look at, again, I mentioned, we're going to look at stool analysis. There are three tests for the GI function. We do a food reaction and DNA type that's going on in the intestines. We want to see if there's an, 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 an immune attack inside your intestines. We can tell that through certain enzymes in the stool, through certain immunoglobulin cells that come off in your stool. We're going to look at this very complete stool panel that does five things. It's looking for parasites, bacterial function, yeast, fungus, and if there's an absorption problem where you've got such a stressed, inflamed intestinal system, we're checking your intestinal permeability. We're also going to test your adrenal stress index, we're going to stress, which tells us about your adrenal function and certain hormones, stress hormones. We're also going to check your, your expanded male or expanded female hormone profile. Very important. When we do that and we figure out what pattern you're in, then we know how to regulate it naturally, nutritionally, with supplementation and proper diet approach. And we do follow-up blood tests within 30 to 45 days. When we find something wrong, we have to know very tightly in 30 to 45 days of starting treatment, are we getting to the point or are we missing the mark and how do we get into, get you into the proper, on the proper track to fix yourself? And you can be well. I'm actually, I've got to tell you, I'm on my soapbox here, so you're listening. I'm kind of sick of when I hear patients, I've had a nerve conduction test, I've had 
I've had, I've been on medications and I'm just getting worse. I'm not feeling any better. I've tried it. It used to work. It's not working anymore. We've got to get down to the point, folks. And there is a reason behind it and you can get that answer here. We look at the brain. Something you've got to understand about the nervous system, it needs oxygen. We check for oxygen levels in your blood. We check for brain function with oxygen levels. If the brain can't get its number one fuel it needs, which is oxygen, your brain's never going to work normally. You need oxygen levels normal. Okay? So, then we look at brain function, and there are different lobes in your brain. We do what's called a brain-based analysis, a functional analysis. We use certain functional coordination tests. We have different uh, 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 tools that we use where we put this, the, these goggles on your face that have an infrared camera. We can track eye function because the eye will tell us so much about the brain. We have different tools in here that will tell us how, what's going on with your brain. And I mentioned before, there's one part of your brain that actually has the nerve roots that go down to the hands and the feet. That part of your brain is called the parietal lobe. You have a parietal lobe on the right brain and on the left hemisphere. Right hemisphere, left hemisphere. So if the parietal lobe is not functioning normally, and we can do a very simple test when you come in the office, I can point out if it's working normally or not. And you'll see it right in front of you on a test that we do here. If the parietal lobe is not functioning normally and it's up here, if it's slow, if it's not getting the signals down to your hands or feet, tingling or numbness or burning may be the symptom you feel. But that's because the brain is not doing its job. The brain needs stimulation. The brain is a muscle. You can't build a bicep by not working out. You can't have the brain function normally if you're not using it. You've got to get the brain assessed and stimulated properly. And it can function well again. I see people's neuropathy fade away in front of me within minutes sometimes in the office here. Okay, other treatments that we use, uh, we've got one where we have light therapy, we have vibration therapy, we have olfactory or smelling stimulation, we have another machine called an interactive metronome, and we have laser therapy. Uh, I mentioned before the Realize exam, we can actually check out your brain in a very comprehensive manner and understand neurologically, is your brain just not doing its job? And we can get that back. And you're gonna see at the end of this video, there are some testimonials you'll watch of certain patients. People, people who have had severe chronic inflammatory neuropathy problems, and you'll see how they feel by doing what we do here. Once we've run the necessary test to determine your specific condition, we can successfully treat you via proper neurological and nutritional metabolic types of protocols. I'm certain of that. Ask yourself the following questions. How has your peripheral neuropathy affected your relationships, your finances, your family, and other activities? Two, what does it cost you in time, money, happiness, sleep? Where do you picture yourself in the next one to five years if you do not stop this problem? And four, what is it worth to you to fix this condition. How many trips have you missed? How many times have you missed playing with your kids or your grandkids or having intimate relations with your spouse? It's time to be normal and function well again. Okay? So you'll see on the screen here that there is an area that you can enter your, your name, your address, and information there. And that's going to relay right back to us through the internet to the office and we'll be able to set you an appointment. So what I invite you to do is just enter the information down there now, and my assistant will be able to reach you, and we'll be able to set up that appointment. The most important thing is you realize that whatever you've tried is not working, and it hasn't worked, and it's not going to work. You've got to take a very comprehensive metabolic and neurological assessment, and you can be well. When you do enter that information at the bottom of the screen, you're going to be called by the assistant, and in order to get an appointment, we're going to send you out a packet of information. And this packet of information is going to have a very, a very comprehensive form or set of forms that are going to tell us what's wrong with your body, and we know exactly which tests to run to evaluate your body properly. Again, I'm Dr. Herman. I invite you to give us a call. I look forward to helping you. Thank you.